Ladies and gentlemen, remember, right at the beginning, I pointed out the first and second in charge, sleeping quarters being on top, right? So, at night time, as they went to bed, sleeping, they would complain about the oxen wagon and horses that moved through the passage and made a noise. Then the slaves planted all those wooden blocks we're all standing on right now to lessen the noise or the sound. The darker ones are still the original wooden blocks. The much lighter ones replace the older broken ones. Type of wood, Indonesian teak. Thickness of it, 15 centimeters thick and the dark substance running in between it. That is something similar to tar called pitch. For all wondering where they got the pitch from, it's from a place called Trinidad and Tobago. Inside the room, behind the wooden gates on the inside, there's a water well eight meters deep. And all that water on the inside still comes from a fresh water stream all the way from Table Mountain. It used to be the main supply of the water for the people who stayed inside the fort. Number two, should we stand on the inside of the room, we will be standing in the center of this entire fort because they use this point as a center point to mark out the entire fort. So for those who'd like to have a look, Please feel free to do so at the very last of the wooden cross around the corner. It's dark. Yeah. It goes, it's dark and hell is hot. So family, remember if you want an in-depth documentation of dungeons and so-called castles, we have some good documentation from over the, the last uh, 12, 13 years of our Ghana documentation in Cape Coast and Elmina. Obviously, you know, the guy left out a lot of important information. 
So, you know, but that's the, the issue when you deal with uh, that guy that's trying to please the other folks, you know, because they see black folks, black people there, so they don't go in depth. So, that's one of the issues. So, you know, um, again, family, if you want serious uh, history and culture about these uh, forts and dungeons, you gotta come to Ghana with us. Like that, your man, you. <laughs>